Hey Fringe fam, it's Peter here again. I'm in Boulder, Colorado this week. You know that I spent a lot of time scouting in Boulder, Denver, and it's about 1.30 p.m. Really got some nice weather compared to Austin. Plus there's a hurricane bearing down in Houston, so we'll get a little bit of that in Austin this weekend, a little rain, that sort of thing. I wanted to talk about our sale for the week, which is barbells. Sometimes I feel like I tell you that every sale of the week is my favorite sale of the week, and maybe they all are. But barbells are 10% off, and we're doing that this week only. I want to mention, because I had a discussion with someone earlier today even, about barbells versus kettlebells versus TRX. And I wanted to let you know a little bit about my opinion on barbells and my feeling on barbells. So, first of all, I'm in love with the barbell is what I really think. I started barbell training for real about probably five years ago. You know, started CrossFit 10 years ago or you're even a little bit more, believe it or not. But I never really got into the actual training aspect of barbell work as let's say Mark Ripito would say versus exercising with a barbell until maybe five or six years ago. So what I like about barbell work is that you can constantly go up in weight and go down in weight and manipulate that weight per your exercise down to the pound or even less than that, let's say if you have fractional plates. I would say that barbells for my strength training are absolutely the number one strength implement that are involved there. Now, going back to kettlebells and TRX and things like that, I'm not against TRX, I'm not against kettlebells, and in fact, I use kettlebells on a weekly basis. Don't use TRX very often, but if there was a TRX set up and somebody wanted to do a workout with me, I would absolutely jump in and do that. I'm really a big believer that the best workout is the one that fits your goals, your personality, and your lifestyle. And whether that's kettlebells, TRX, powerlifting, weightlifting, CrossFit, anything like that, whatever fits into what you're going to do is probably going to be the best for you. And for me, it's barbell training in, at this point, the atomic athlete style with a little wadding on the side. So back to barbells, which are 10% off this week only. One of the things that I've worked very hard on, the team at Fringe has worked extremely hard on, is developing awesome barbells. And our guiding principle has been the best barbell for your buck. That is what we think about whenever we're working on a new barbell. So whether you're going with our Wonder Bar, which is the cheapest lifetime, truly lifetime guaranteed, barbell that stands up to box use, or you jump up to our American-made Bomba Bar, which is a awesome hybrid all-around barbell that's made in the USA, or if, you go, or if you go with any of our bar options, you're really going to get, again, the best bar for your buck, and all of our mainline bars are guaranteed for life. So this has been Peter from Fringe Sport talking to you from Boulder. If you like what you're seeing in these vlogs, please go down below and subscribe. And if you're getting this in email format or blog format, feel free to sign up for our subscription list. Reply to me, peter at fringesport.com or tell a friend about what's going on at Fringe. So this is me reporting from sunny, slightly cloudy Boulder, Colorado. Have a great day. Barbells on 10% off this week only. Cheers.